Hi, my friends. Today we uh, finish with finite element analysis by uh, solving these two connections. Moment when we'll encircle uh, this uh, analysis and everything will be discussed at the beginner level yes not uh, for uh, an expert but uh, this would be a good start for everyone who wants to understand what are the possibilities to make analysis with the inventor the first thing we do is to create an assembly We have components and we create an assembly using that parts. You will see what assembly is this. We start by placing a support and then all the other parts. I use the space to activate the previous command which was uh, place and then I place the part escape space escape and so on yes you know the procedure very well Good. Now we have to uh, constrain these uh, elements, these components, in order to create our assembly. We create the assembly by adding constraints. Insert This is the first Constraint, apply. This is the second, apply. Then we change the solution to place the axles. Again, mate. We use all the possibilities to fulfill our target. Now I want to place, you see, this is the only movement. And I know that this part has uh, its uh, middle plane here. Yes, so I uh, choose to apply constraint between the center point of this part and uh, from support the plane. Yes, the point is placed on the plane. Only one degree of freedom is uh, it was free and now it is constrained apply I have to uh, make a little movement constraint tangent between this face cylindrical and this face plane apply 
and then again mate to place the screw here apply again tangent between this spherical face and this plane okay now if we look from the side we see what possibilities are here yes this is real and depends this uh, placement or movement of the force we apply to this uh, to the screw in order to make this uh, study we uh, must exclude the screw from the study and uh, replace it with the two antagonistic forces as you will see now let's activate the let's activate the stress analysis create study uh, force in assembly and now uh, we have to take a look here the contacts remember these contacts are of type bonded what is this this means that uh, all the parts in contact are fixed one with another yes you remember from the hydro four in the previous tutorial where uh, we didn't apply any welding and we made a full study because this was the default type i didn't mention this because there were uh, no moving parts there here we have moving parts and we have also bonded parts i i uh, want to be uh, clear this bolt or this uh, uh, axle is fixed in this uh, fork and is free or sliding in this uh, uh, clamp similar this uh, long axle is fixed in the support and is sliding free in the fork all the other almost all are fixed this with this being bonded are a single object for uh, the study as you will see immediately instead of bonded we choose sliding no separation for all this and we'll um, edit contacts afterwards to uh, apply bonded on some of contacts okay let's do this we apply automatic contacts from all the parts here and all contacts how many are look here how many <laughs> a lot yes a lot because if you uh, are uh, uh, careful these two faces of the clamp and fork are uh, in contact sliding no separation and so on you can move from one to other and to see 
what happens. I told you about the uh, fixed contact between this and the fork. Let's apply. This is the fork. Yes. And this is the short axle. Where is the fork and the axle short? Axle short and the fork. This is to be edited, but I prefer to select all of them. The other is long axle with the support, support axle long, not shift, but control. Excuse me. I apply here and also where the long axle is in contact with the support which is here and the bottom face of this object is in contact of the type bonded with the support so part subject with support this face okay all these three are to be edited and made bonded you see is uh, simpler to uh, apply bonded to three uh, contacts instead of uh, accepting um, the default with bonded and to change uh, uh, bonded with slide no sliding no separation to all minus three contacts okay we exclude the screw from the uh, study screw is uh, excluded and it is transparent now and now we apply uh, our constraints but first we look to the assignments of materials and we see that uh, because this was made by me in uh, say 2014 or before I didn't was uh, so uh, interested to apply materials but now I uh, the revenge is uh, coming <laughs> and I apply steel carbon to all generic parts as an override yes you know this okay now all of them are uh, either defined or override Good. Fix. Fix is this. Okay. Force. We eliminated uh, the screw, but we uh, replace it uh, with its effects. A force on this face of uh, one thousand eight hundred. Newtons apply and another one to this face of 180 deca newtons to be the same <laughs> yes two equal forces of 180 uh, deca newtons similar with kilogram force 
Now we have material, constraint, and force, or load, so we can start the simulation. Let's start it, run. We see now that instead of many objects, only three remain because they are bonded in some uh, points. So uh, that bonded uh, components are considered only one. Yes. The model separates into three independent components. We have now three components instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, say seven. Close. And what we see here? We see nothing. No, no, no. We see very interesting things. I started animation and you see what happens. The contact here is increasing and uh, uh, these two are uh, moving because we have a, a degree of freedom here which is uh, uh, ruled by the force. Yes. Okay, we can make another thing. We can uh, right click here and apply visibility and this is not like the screw the screw is excluded from the uh, simulation but this is uh, part of simulation but we don't see it why to see what happens here on the part i uh, forgot to tell you what is this uh, assembly this is a part subject of uh, uh, manufacturing and the other is uh, uh, the system of clamping the part on the machine tool yes coming back we see animation and we see that the clamp uh, makes some uh, fingerprints here yes we can apply minimum maximum to see how uh, great is the stress as you can see because also here is a problem you see somewhere here and this means that uh, we have to uh, analyze more the situation. Let's see what about the uh, safety factor. Double click and we see some uh, things because the minimum is zero point ninety seven um, the factor of one is the limit for uh, crashing of the part of the parts so this seems to be uh, underdimensioned in uh, this condition of uh, one hundred and eighty uh, deca newtons and uh, if I have make again visible this we have also an important uh, deformation or uh, stress on the clamp also yes what are the solutions? The solutions are to decrease the force. This is the first. 180 decanutons is a great force 
for this uh, assembly. And uh, we can uh, take some uh, decisions to change uh, the situation. You are free to make this, but uh, before to uh, end this uh, analyze, I want to show you something which is important to every finite element analysis to generate a report. I don't choose any particular option, but OK is uh, all I do. This is uh, the report and you see how many data are here. The uh, file was not defined. I didn't save uh, this assembly. All the data are here. Uh, how are the physical data, the mass, area, volume, center of gravity. Force in assembly is the name of our study. Yes, you see the design objective, mesh settings, materials. Force is uh, what we applied and all the other data look here how many and the results very important of course you can decide better when you have a printed material to look at yes everything is here and uh, you have to observe that this is an html file which can be sent to uh, another colleague to uh, present the situation. The last study is uh, when a moment instead of a force is applied in an assembly. I, I made here for you uh, presentation of what I think is important. Here I placed a force of uh, 1800 newtons and here inside there is a moment with uh, uh, an opposite action of uh, 180 and 800 multiplied by 11 the distance between the two axes yes you see very well this this means that I can um, uh, replace that force with a moment let's do this thing uh, on our clamping unit. This is another view to have uh, the same position of the clamp. In this study, if we apply our stress analysis, you recognize the previous um, load with the forces. I change this by uh, erasing these two forces, delete. I make not visible this part and this part before in order to apply here the moment. The moment is applied here 
the uh, direction is good of 180 multiplied by 11 millimeters okay I'll make visible the parts the other conditions are uh, uh, fulfilled so we can start the uh, simulation what I want to mention is that we'll find the same result however a slight difference may arise because the two antagonistic forces are not directly opposite you saw this instead of uh, forces now there is a moment yes okay so this is all and uh, now you can uh, see the situation I modified here everything is now completed yes about the finite element analysis level uh, beginner um, that's all for today bye bye